Hello, in this video we're going to show you how to extract a NDK file which has the .bin extension so it's for Mac and Linux for Windows you have a .exe and you can just simply double click it before basically before the few new versions that have come out for NDK you could simply just double click and extract it because it was a .zip file but this is what happens when you double click and extract it starts extracting and it's giving me another archive file using the built-in archive utility and you might be thinking simple I'll just double click it again and I'll show you what happens when you double click it again double click it again let's get another dot bin file and this is not what we want at all let's just remove these files I'm going to show you how to extract this using no extra tools just stuff that's built into your operating system Mac or Linux this tutorial will work for both even though I'm only doing it on Mac process is exactly the same you're going to want to use terminal if you do want more of a visual extraction tool let's use 7z that works as well but like I said I'm just going to show you how to do it without any extra tools if you want to open up terminal chain directory to wherever your file is located for me it's in desktop stuff and click ls and as you can see the file is right here I'm just going to rename this to NDK the reason I'm doing this is because I need to refer to this file in terminal it's just easier if it has less characters basically so first of all what you want to do is do ch mod a plus x ndk.bin or whatever your file is called and the chmod I mean chmod a plus x is very similar to chmod 755 it, what a plus x does it adds execution bits but again you don't need to worry about any of that just click enter that's done its work and now we can extract it to extract it we do dot forward slash ndk.bin or whatever your file is called click enter starting the extraction process just as we know it so if we open this it's got files that we expect not just a recursive archive file that we just keep double clicking and it just keeps extracting another archive file this this will take a few minutes so just be patient but I'm not I'm gonna be ending the video soon because it's working you don't need to see anything beyond this so this is how you extract NDK bin files on Mac and Linux. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on our education platform, sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions.php. There'll be a link in the description. Please rate, comment and subscribe. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.